Hi everyone, welcome to Bible Blast and Lesson 23. Today we're going to be talking about the invasion of Canaan. Now, I'm going to be playing the part of a few different people today. So if I go off camera, it just means I'm becoming somebody else or we're switching locations. Are you ready? This is after the 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. It says, Moses came and spoke all of the words to the people. And he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I can no longer go out and come in. And also, the Lord has said to me, you shall not go over the Jordan. Joshua, he will be the one that goes into the promised land. And so Moses called Joshua and he said to him in the sight of all of Israel, the Lord has chosen you to lead the people from here. You're going to take them all across the Jordan River into the promised land. And he said to him, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And so Moses went up the mountain and there the Lord showed him all the land that he was given all the Israelites. And then Moses died. So Joshua took over leading all of the Israelites. Hey, I am Joshua. I need all of the officers to come to me. Okay, please help your people to get ready to pack up all of their belongings and be ready on the third day because we are crossing over the Jordan River into the Promised Land. You two, come to me. All right, I need you to go into the city of Jericho and check it out. Spy everywhere and see what it's like because that's the first place will be taking over. The Lord will be with you. Bye. Don't forget to come back and give me a report. Thanks for going. Okay. We've received our instructions from Joshua and we're ready. Okay. Okay, those people are going by. Okay, come on, let's go in. I think we can go into the city now. Okay, the walls are pretty thick, but there's still no match for the Lord. Hey, I heard some people talking. I heard them say something about Rahab as being a place where you can get a room. We should go to her house. Hey, there's the sign over there. Come on, let's go. I think people are starting to look at us. Hello, and where are you boys from? You're Israelites? Israelites, quick, come in. I've heard the king of Jericho and the army are looking for you. Are you the spies that everybody's talking about? Oh, you know, I've heard of the one true God. We've heard about him, what he has done, how he opened the water so all the Israelites could walk through, and how he drowned the entire Egyptian army. And we've heard about how he provided meat and manna and water for all of you. Everybody here in Jericho quakes in fear because of your God. And we know that he's going to give you this land. Listen, if the soldiers are looking for you, they're for sure going to come to my house. You need to go upstairs quickly. All right, look, there's flax over there. Yeah, good. I'm covering you with the flax now. You've got to be quiet because if the soldiers come and they find you, they'll kill you. Oh, no, they're here. Shh, please be quiet. If they find you, they're going to kill me too. Okay, shh, I'll be back. Open up! Open up! I'm coming! I'm coming! Hey, bring up! Weird that the men are here. Bring them out. They were here, but they're not now. They went? When did they go? When it was getting dark? Well, which way did they go? Through the city gates. 
Okay, where do you suppose they were headed? Back home? All right, we're going to have to go after them and try and get them. Thanks, Rahab. We can always depend on you. We'll keep in touch. Bye for now. Oh, boy. I figured we were dead for sure. Oh, boy, I've got to go check upstairs on the, with the men. Okay, hey. Are you okay? Oh, good. The soldiers are gone. I thought we were dead for sure. Listen, my house is on the, on the wall of the city. Yeah, you should be able to climb down outside the window, but you cannot go back to where you came from. You're going to have to go to the mountain in the opposite direction. You go hide in the mountain back there for three days. And after three days, the soldiers will have given up looking for you. And then you can go home. But listen, I need you to do something for me. Could you please save my mother and my father and my brothers and sisters and all of the kids? I know that your God is the one true God. And that's why we're all filled with fear. We know that your God is giving you this land. So please, would you save me? What do we have to do to be saved? I need to bring them all here, okay, and warn them not to leave the house. Okay, if, if they leave the house and they get killed by the Israelites, it's their own fault. Okay, I'll make sure I warn my family not to leave the place. How are you going to find me? I, if I tie a red cord in the window? Okay, just a minute. Oh, I have a red cord. Will this do? Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to tie this in the window right away. Just let me get a rope for you to climb down. Okay. All right. Tying this up here. Okay. That will hold you. Okay. Now listen. You go right there. I, I promise I'm not going to give you away. I know. Your life for mine. I won't tell anybody. I believe in your God and I fear him. Okay. Careful as you go. Okay. Alright. Bye. Remember you promised to me. Okay. They're gone. I hope they remember. Oh, I'm afraid of the one true God. I hope he will save me. Bye for now. Alright, I think it's safe for us to go back to Joshua. Those mountains really helped to hide us. I'm glad that Rahab told us to go there. Hey, Joshua, we made it. We've been hiding in the mountains for three days. We stayed in this lady's house. Her name was Rahab. She actually saved us. The whole, the whole army of Jericho came after us. We were in so much danger. The soldiers actually came to her house. But she lied and told them that we had already gone, so they went after us. But you know why she did that? She believed in the one true God. She had heard about our God, and she feared him, and so she saved our lives. And so she is gonna, she's going to bring her mom and her dad and her brothers and sisters and all the children to her house, and we promised that we would save her and bring her out to safety. And so we told her to tie a red cord in the window. So that's what we have to look for. Yes, Joshua, we will definitely keep our promise. Good job, men. I'm pleased with the job that you've done. Well, all the women are packed up. All of the men are packed up. And uh, we're going to be starting our invasion of Canaan. So that's what happened. The spies went to Rahab's house and because she had heard of the one true God and all of the amazing miracles that he had done, she hid the spies. And the amazing thing is, is that the Israelites had just wandered in the wilderness for 40 years because of their unbelief. And here is a woman from Jericho where they worshipped all kinds of false gods. She's believing in the one true God. And so because of that, the Lord counted her belief as righteousness. And he had a special plan for her, which we will be hearing about 
tomorrow. I just want to show you some pictures from my Ashes and Genesis book. Hang on. So, there is Rahab. And there are the spies hiding under the flax. And here they are climbing down the wall. And there is Rahab hiding the red cord in the window. According to the instructions of the spies. So I hope you'll come back tomorrow where you get to hear more about Rahab. Thank you for listening and bye for now.